Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're gonna look at making in Game Press an interactive kids game. Uh, this is what we're gonna to make today. So basically, I hold my finger down on the dolphin and I hit the shark and when I get him close to the, um, the bin, it says a little pop up, well done. So we're gonna make that from scratch today using the Game Press app. So let's make a start. I'll just exit this one here. Yes, I do wanna exit. Uh, we're gonna create a new game. Uh, we have to put a title in Game Press, so we'll just call this uh, Test R and we're gonna create it. And I'll show you quickly how to create this very, very easy game. We're gonna start, we're actually gonna use a top-down game, so we're gonna cheat this a little bit. We're going to quickly bring in our dolphin, and we'll bring in a, uh, let's bring in a different creature for this one. We'll bring in the little lanternfish here. Um, so we've got our two characters. We'll bring in our rubbish bin as well, or something that it actually has to hit. So let's just have a look here. Uh, in our environment, what have we got here? I thought we had a little rubbish bin that we could actually use. Yep, we'll bring that one in as well. So now we've got our three objects that we need. We're gonna press on the dolphin once and uh, apply a little drag and drop. Um, that's all we need to do for the dolphin. So now we're gonna go back. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is press on the rubbish bin and apply a couple of behaviors there. Uh, the first one we'll do is, um, We'll say that when the rubbish uh, collides with the uh, lanternfish, uh, what do we want to happen? So what we need to happen is to destroy the object, but we actually don't want to destroy the bin. We want the fish to disappear. Uh, so we're going to do a little one uh, there. And look, we might also apply to the rubbish bin itself um, a little uh, text bubble that just says well done to give the, uh, the player some feedback. So I'll press on that once, uh, type in there, well done, Ooh, try that again, well done. Uh, we'll make it go for about five, uh, five seconds there and let's have a look, we'll join that up and then that's basically it. Um, so if I press play here, I hold my finger on the dolphin and it hits that naturally and then it disappears in there. That's fantastic. Uh, let's give it a bit of perspective. So we're gonna click on, uh, what are we gonna click on at the top here? Uh, motion, game, logic. Let's go back a bit. Let's go to backgrounds and tap and select something underwater. Uh, we'll do an aspect fill so it fills it up. Now we've got a bit of context. Let's play it again. This time when we get there, we give it a little bit. And once again, it won't say anything or do anything. It's a little interactive game and then it gets there and gives some feedback. So I guess the reason why I wanted to show you that today is that we can create some interactive kids games using the Game Press app, get the kids to actually make these games. Um, and we can use our fingers um, to actually do this kind of drag and drop and a little bit less on the controls and more about, um, well, a range of different things, the functions of the iPad that we can use. Paul Hamilton here signing off. Hope you found that beneficial. A different kind of game in the GamePress app.